Starkey are, lo are loving it right now. And I've only given it out to a couple of the crew, crew members, you know, who have been here for lessons. And, um, you know, we're really proud of this thing because it's about as simple as it gets. Check this out. Straight putt no matter what. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Straight putt no matter what. Let me explain it now. This is pretty neat. So we've seen the rulers. We've seen things simple that, you know, you can put down the three foot ones, obviously the yardstick. This one's 14 inches. Nine inches for the starting line. It's all you need to see. Um, but I, what I love is the five inches behind it. So, you know, you put the ball a little groove right there so you don't have to put it down every time. You can just roll the ball right up on it. You can even set gateways around your putter. You can do all the normal stuff. But what I like about this thing is typically what happens to most golfers is when they have a right to left putt, the, putt, the putter will arc a little bit more naturally. They'll get then all of a sudden out in a left to right putt mm -hmm. and they'll start, you know, pu pulling it a, lot, a little online straight putt no matter what. You set it up according to your line and you just get the backstroke moving straight back no matter what. So the five inches here is great because five inches of this backstroke should be dead straight before it naturally starts to arc. So for you, I thought this would be really good not only for alignment, for starting lines, but just the simplicity of it, of just getting your putter always started on the right track. Okay, so we're really proud of this thing. It's just super simple. And the feedback that we've received from our players so far has been pretty awesome. So I wanted to give you this one. Thank you. And yeah, let's, 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 let's put it down though and let's like roll a couple putts with it. Just line it up to your spot. Maybe do one like right here where it's a little bit more difficult where you have to kind of okay. pick the line also. Um, what's really cool about it too, it gives us immediate feedback as to how we're actually reading the greens. So would you say like kind of like right in here? Yeah. Kind of like, is that where it's lined up? Yeah. Pretty much for the most part. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's just test it. I like training aids that are not invasive. This is about as non-invasive as it gets. Gabe's smiling back there because you know what? You know what's funny? All I have to really do is make sure your setup's good, and then put this thing on the ground. Okay. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? No kidding. I'll take a 15% well, commission. Use, use Brianna code uh, BR. Yeah, Brianna code BR for it. Yeah, exactly. But hey, like, you know, what I like about it, though, is this. I mean, it's just the ability to be able to flip it around, you know, pick another one. You line that up according to what you think. But you know what I also like about it, too? Like, for just, you know, you're not, no dorms anymore, right? Apartments? Apartments, you know, just in the apartment. Just to have this thing on the ground sometimes at night, you know, if you, you're you all watching TV or whatever you're doing, you know, just get, just get the putter on that and just start running the ball mm -hmm. down that line at something that's stuck on the wall or something. It'd be great. I think it was aimed a little bit low. And the one thing about the stroke, if anything, the only, 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 the only mistake of anything is, watch this. First of all, aim it a little higher. I want to see the putter just track down that line, Brie, a little bit longer. It tends to want to, it tends to want to get a little bit over this way. So let's just, let's just check this line, though, make sure we're good. Come on, groove. Oh, there we go. I got this thing a little bit more left than you had it. Let's see what works. Yeah, it's got to happen. <laughs> it's like that center line, that putter just knifes right down that line. Ooh, that was a good stroke right there. That was such a good stroke right there. But that's what I like about that, and that's what I'm having Starkey do right now. He was just kind of, his putter was exiting a little, actually just like yours, was just, you know, he's like, gosh, my putter always exits a little bit this way. 
you know, so he, he's really working on right now just feeling it stay down the line, mm -hmm. you know, and feeling like that putter just extends down that line. And what's nice is, I mean, essentially you just want to see it just go and just kind of stuck to the face. I, I feel like the ball is always stuck to the face when I film it from behind the first two feet when I film a putting stroke. That's one thing my mentor, Todd Stones, always wanted me to, to see. He wanted that ball to always be, as I stroke through it, still stuck to the face for the first two feet before it started to break. And that was always something that um, I look for in a stroke. Hey, Gabe, I really do think this thing's going to be huge, though. We're about to, we're about to drop it. That was a good stroke. Speed? Yeah, just a little hard. Just a little, but, not, but it was still a really positive stroke. Good stroke. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna make this putting segment super easy on you. Your, your setup's perfect right now. Your eyes are over the golf ball. Your hands are directly under your shoulders. Now, always with the optic line, you know, eyes over ball. When people, you know, if you ever wonder why, well, I would, I would never shoot the rifle like this. They would always be, you know, right here, right? Always looking down the sight line, never over here. Other part of it is also, hands under shoulders. Easy, easy checkpoint for that, you guys just let the right arm drop and if it's in line with the grip we're good now watch if we're too close look what happens oh if we're too far look what happens so it's a great way to know distance from the golf ball as well um, but the big thing is you always want your hands under your shoulders because your hands under your shoulders your shoulders are the train track of your stroke so that's where your hands are going to go if they're out here they're going to go around if they're in they're going to start to move um, in a different way as well, but that all checks out. The last thing is ball position, one of the easiest things to check. If I hold this up right here, the butt of the club, to my zipper, center of my body, the ball would just be on the left side of that. I wanna make sure the butt of the club is always just a little left of my zipper so the ball's one inch ahead of center. I'm not gonna change your stroke. I'm just gonna give you that training aid and tell you to use it more often. And then, you know, run, even with the no ball on it, practice using, you know, taking the putter and keeping that black line of the putter just I call it knifing right down the middle of that silver line on there, okay? Um, yeah, really good stuff right there. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.